In this video, I am going to be showing you how to create an audiogram with your smartphone. All right, so I'll be walking you through step by step to show you exactly how you can create an audiogram with your smartphone. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is John Agbo. And if this is your first time of watching my YouTube video, I want to say welcome to my YouTube channel. Every week, I publish new videos like this right here on my channel. And if that interests you, then go ahead and click on the red subscribe button just below this video. And also, don't forget to turn on the bell icon so that you'll be the first to be notified as soon as I publish a new video like this right here on my YouTube channel. And if you're a returning subscriber, I also want to say welcome back to the channel. So like I said, in today's video, I'll be showing you exactly how to create an audiogram with your smartphone. And in case you don't know what an audiogram is, an audiogram is simply converting an audio into a video format. All right. And before we move right into the tutorial, I'm going to be playing a sample of an audiogram for you so that you can see exactly what we are about to do in this video. All right. I'm going to be showing you a sample of an audiogram I've created so that you can have an idea of what we are about to create in this video. Okay. So let me go show you. So I'll play this video for you right now. Hello guys and welcome to the mobile photo and video editing mastery course. My name is John Abo and I want to say a big, big congratulations to you for grabbing a copy of this course. All right. So this is an example of what an audiogram looks like. Okay. So this is an audiogram that I created. Now you can create an audiogram to deliver content. All right. You can create an audiogram to deliver your content to your audience. For example, if you have a YouTube channel and you don't want to show your face, but you want to teach people, you can simply teach them in an audio format and then simply convert that audio into a video. All right. And you can upload it to your YouTube channel. You can also create something like this and upload it on your website for your, your audience. Okay. And also you can create an audiogram to deliver content on your Facebook, on Instagram, on TikTok, on Snapchat. So you can create awesome audiograms like this and you can use it to deliver your content on your various social media platforms. Okay. Another way you can also make use of an audiogram is by using it to create a digital product. All right. Like this very audiogram that I played for you right now, it's a welcome video that I did for one of my courses for my students. Okay. So here I didn't show my face. I didn't show anything on my slide. I just had to talk behind the scene and then there's a flyer of me. All right. So it's an audio, but it's in a video format. So you can also decide to create your digital product in this format. Maybe your digital product is an audio course. You can decide to convert it into a video like this just to give it more feel. All right. Just to make it more appealing. All right. To make it more fun. You get. So basically, we are going to be creating something like this in this video. As you can see, the only thing on my screen is the flyer I used. It is static. All right. I'm not showing my face. I'm not showing my slide. I'm just talking behind the scene. So I'm going to be showing you exactly how to create something like this step by step. All right. So without wasting much of your time, let's jump right into the tutorial. So in order to make this work, we are going to make use of four applications. And I will tell you the function of each application in this tutorial. Okay. The first app you are going to be making use of is the Canva app. All right. So this is right here. Now we are going to be using the Canva app to design our flyer. All right. The flyer we are going to make use of. Okay. Now the second app you are going to use is called Audio Lab. So Audio Lab is an audio recording application that we are going to use to record our voice. If you have any other audio recording app on your phone or maybe your phone recorder, you can use it to record your voice. Okay, the most important thing is to have an audio that you are going to use to create the audiogram. That is it. So it's not compulsory to use this app. But in case you don't know any app you can use to record your voice, you can simply install the Audio Lab application from the Google Play Store. All right. And then the third app we are going to use is Headliner. Okay. So this is the main application we are going to use in this video to create the audiogram. All right. This is the main application that produces the audiogram. Okay. And then finally, we are going to make use of the Google Drive application. So why are we bringing in Google Drive here? 
Now, when you create your audiogram in Headliner, Headliner doesn't give you an option to download your audiogram directly from the application. So they only give you an option for you to share it either on other social media platforms and the rest. And then you also have an option to upload it on Google Drive. So what we are going to do is that when we finish creating the audiogram in Headliner, we'll upload it on our Google Drive application. Then from there, we can download it directly to our phone. Okay. So these are the four apps we are going to be making use of in this tutorial. All right. And you can get all of them from Play Store. It is there right on Play Store. Okay. So if you're also using an iPhone, you can get it from the iOS store. All right. So they all work for iPhones. Okay. So let's open the Canva app because that's the first thing we are going to do, which is to design our flyer. So come to Canva, open it. Now it is important I let you know that when it comes to creating a flyer that you are going to use for your audiogram, the headliner app allows you to use basically three dimensions of flyers. The first one is the, the landscape, basically which is a YouTube thumbnail dimension. The second one is the social media post dimension, which is the, the Instagram post dimension, which is 1080. Okay, why is it 1080 by 1080? Yes, that's the social media post dimension. And then the third one is the Instagram story dimension. Okay, so basically these are the three dimensions of flyers that you can use. Because when you get to the headliner app, they are going to ask you which dimension of flyer do you want to use. Okay, then you select it based on the dimension you have designed in the canva application okay don't worry when we get there you're going to see all of those okay now when you come here you i'm going to be making use of the youtube thumbnail okay so i just come here in the search bar and i'll search for youtube thumbnail all right so this is it right here i'll just click on it now they are going to give us a lot of templates to choose from but i don't want to use their templates i want us to do this from scratch so that you can also see how to do it yourself all right so click on blank click on blank i'm going to bring this down so we can close this we are designing from scratch so what you want to do right now is to click on the flyer now this is the dimension we have right here you can decide to change the color of this 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 template that is if you don't like the white background color all right so let me see i want to make use of let's say i want to make use of the the red okay let's use black okay, let me use the black background color all right now the next thing i'm going to do is to add a text now this text you are going to add here is based on the topic of your audiogram what exactly are you trying to teach your audience okay so let's say i'm trying to teach my audience on how to make money on instagram so i can i can give it a title like instagram money show okay so let me click on the plus sign here at the bottom left then you come to these options below here and click on text now when you click on text you are going to select add a heading click on add a heading all right now the next thing we are going to do is to click on edit at the bottom here so we can delete this add the heading text and add our own text so click on edit and i'll delete this so i'll call this instagram instagram money show okay now i'm going to change the font so come down here again click on font and i'll select anton allow to use this font click close this so let's increase the size of the font. So click on font size. Now expand this. Okay, I'll expand this. And I'll take it up, all right? Just put your thumb here on this arrow here and then move it to the top. Okay, so once that is done, I'm going to add the name of the host, okay? Or the author, so just click on the plus sign. And here, make sure you select text again. I'm going to add a subheading and I'll say, I'll click on edit, delete this, and I'll write width. Okay. So let's come here, change the font. Let me use this font. Close this. Then I'll expand the text. All right. I'll increase the font size. So click on font size and increase it. There we can move this here. 
okay let me bring this here let me increase it again all right so with then i'll add the name of the host so click on the plus sign either the host or the creator or the author okay whichever one so let me click on add a heading click on edit delete this and i'll write my name okay so i can use another font for this so let's come to font let me use this bebas new for my name all right so i can expand this so let's increase the font size click on font size and expand 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 now bring it here all right okay so let me close this another thing i can also do here is to bring in my image so let me click on the plus sign and then come down here you can upload the image to canva or if you have it to your phone just click on gallery and it's going to open your phone gallery for you then from here you can be able to select the image directly from your phone okay but i already have it uploaded in my canva app so just come to upload then i'll select the image i want to use from here all right so let me select my image just want to use this image so i'm going to bring this here just use your thumb to move it around and i think we need to work on something here so let me delete this width and this one i'll click on edit let me call it episode 10 okay so let's increase the font size a bit font size and i'll change the font to go to font let me use no 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 let's use the baby's new year so we can change episode 10 we can change the color to something else so come to color at the bottom click on color and let's go look for let's look for a nice color we can use Let me use a yellow color yeah so i'll use this yellow let me increase the font size again a bit we saw 10 and i can add the name of the author here so let's go to add on that says click on the plus sign come to text click on add a subheading click on edit remove this then i'll write to it okay so work on the fonts so come to fonts and let me select this font all right so i can increase the font size click on font size increase it a bit all right then we can drag this down here consider use the font size all right okay so this is better now we can see add something or oh, let's leave it let's add something click on the plus sign let's add an instagram logo and let's come to elements now come to photos and search for instagram instagram logo Oh, we can't get it from here let's go to elements come to elements search for instagram logo yeah so this is what i wanted so i'm going to select this option okay it's black so we're going to change the color so click on color and let me select this yellow color all right so i'll just hold this right here and rotate then bring it here okay yes so i'm going to leave it like this i don't want to add too many things this is just for the purpose of this tutorial so once you are done designing your flyer to your taste just come to the top here and click on this all right so click on this arrow pointing downwards click on it and then click on save 
at the bottom tap on save all right so it has saved successfully okay so it's now in my phone gallery now the next step we'll go to is to go and record our audio which is a very short audio we are going to use okay so to do that you can open your audio lab now so i'll open my audio lab all right so when you come to this application there are so many things that you can actually do here all right but i'm not teaching you how to use this app right now the main thing we want to do here is to record the audio we want to use for our audiogram all right so when you come here you click on record audio click on record audio tap on it and then you come to the top here and change the title to the title of the topic you are trying to teach so let's call this instagram instagram money show all right instagram money show once that is done you come down under this audio format select mp3 you can use wave which is high quality but i prefer to use mp3 which is still a good quality all right then come down again and under this noise suppressor you check it okay once that is done you come down and you click on start all right so to start recording your audio you can see this circle at the bottom here all right all you have to do is to tap it then you can start talking okay so i'm going to click on it right now and just do a short audio recording hello guys and welcome to another edition of the instagram money show it's still your boy john Agbo, right here and i am super super excited to bring to you yet another edition of this awesome show and in today's show we are going to be looking at how to close more sales in the instagram dm so that you can be able to make more money on instagram good so once you are done recording just click on the post sign okay i'm done and then you come to the top right here where you are seeing this check option all right at the top of my screen click on it and you have converted it to an audio okay so this has been saved in your phone gallery it will automatically create a folder in your phone called audio lab so when we get to that stage you're going to see it all right now we have recorded our audio so just tap on this and let's close this we are not paying for the pro version right now okay so let's go back now the next stage is to open the headliner app so that we can start creating our audiogram all right so click on headliner and wait for it to load all right so it has opened i've already created a couple of projects here as you can see so when you install this app you may not see all of this because you haven't created any project yet as a matter of fact you need to register on the app before you start using it same thing with the other apps like like canva okay so what you want to do right now is to click on the plus sign at the bottom right here tap on it and then select audiogram okay so we are not bringing in a podcast here we are not trying to convert a podcast into an audiogram because if you want to convert your podcast into an audiogram, what you have to do is to paste the link of the podcast right here. Okay, but we want to upload our audio. So you select upload. Okay, so click on upload. Then come down here and click on choose a file. Choose a file. And I'll go to my audio. Go to audio. I have a folder here called audio lab. Can you see? This is the folder. So click on audio lab. Click on unknown. And these are some of the audios that I've recorded here. So I'm going to select the one I just recorded. So it's processing. Let's give it time. The processing time will be longer or shorter depending on the duration of the audio. Good. So we have our audio right here. Now, if the audio is a is long, if it's a long audio, this stuff might not extend to the end. You see it somewhere around here okay so you just use your thumb and then move it to the end but this one is a short audio so it was able to cover everything so it's just 27 seconds all right now once you are done you come down click on next so this is where you are going to choose your aspect ratio remember when i was telling you about designing your flyer on canva i told you there are only three formats that headliner accepts one is the youtube thumbnail 
dimension, which is a landscape. The second one is the Instagram post dimension. And the third one is the Instagram story dimension. So these are the three dimensions here. Now you're going to choose this aspect ratio based on the, the, the dimension you have designed your flyer. So I use the landscape aspect ratio. I use the landscape dimension in Canva. So that's the one I'm going to select. Okay, so once you select it, you come down here and click on next. Now the next thing we are going to do is to select our waveform. By default, this waveform has been selected, but we want to change it. So if you want to change your waveform, you come to the top here and click on waveform. So click on waveform. All right. And you can see there are a lot of waveforms here you can select from. See this one? Are you see? And this is the one I used in the tutorial. Okay. So there are so many waveforms here that you can actually use. This is another one. It's another one. So they are here. You decide on which one that you want to use. Okay. So let me say I want to make use of this this waveform. This one is a very 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 popular one. Let me use let me use this one. Okay. So once I select my waveform, I'll just click on this arrow at the top left hand corner to go back. Good. So the next phase is to select my image. So click on image. And this is my Instagram money show flyer. So I'll click on choose at the bottom right. And it has uploaded successfully. All right. So I'll just come to the top here and click on the back arrow again. So this is my waveform. I want to change the color. So let me click on the waveform. Let me bring it down. And let me change the color to red. Good. So let's go back. Awesome. The next thing now is to go to text. You can see text here. I'm not adding any text here, so I'll leave it. There is progress bar, there is background. I already have my flyer, so I'm not going to select the background. So basically, these are the things that I'm going to make use of here. I'm not adding any text. If you want to add text, you can click on text and you can type in your text and place it on any anywhere you want on your screen. Okay, so I don't want to do any of those things again. So once you are done, you come down below here and click on create video. So click on it. So it's rendering and we are going to give it some time to finish rendering. Okay. Now, when this audiogram is rendering, ensure that you keep this page open. They've already told us that and you can see it at the top. Ensure you keep it open. So how fast it will render depends on the length of the audio. Okay. So you just have to be patient with the process and allow it to finish rendering. Okay. All right, so it is done rendering and you can see our audiogram right here. So let's play this audiogram and see. So just click on it and click on play. Hello guys Hello and guys welcome, and to, welcome to, another to another edition, another edition of, the of the Instagram Money Show. Money Show. It's still your boy, your boy, John John right here. Right and I am here, super, and super, super excited to bring to you bring yet to another, yet edition another edition of this awesome, 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 awesome show. 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 And, in and in today's show, how to close most sales on the Instagram DM so that you can be able to make more money on Instagram. Instagram. Alright, so that is it guys. You can see that we have successfully created uh audiogram all right now like i told you headliner doesn't give you an option to download your audiogram directly inside this application so what you want to do to download this audiogram is to click on share video all right click on share video you can see it right here all right so tap on share video so it says preparing your video please keep headliner open for just a second all right so let's wait All right, so you can see there are several options here that you can use to share to share this. All right, several, several options. So I'm going to use Google Drive. Like I said, that's the app I'm going to use. So I'm going to save it to Google Drive first. This is my Google Drive application. So I'll click on Save to Drive, and then I'll call it Instagram, Instagram Money Show. Okay, so once you do that, you just come down click on save and your 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 one file is being uploaded to instagram okay being uploaded to 
Google Drive, sorry. So let's go to my Google Drive app, open it. So I want to be sure it's uploading. So come down to the bottom right, click on files. You can see it's not uploading yet. So what you want to do now is to click on this arrow, this arrow right here pointing upwards. So tap on it and it's uploading now. Okay. As you uploaded successfully, let's go to home and check. So at the bottom left, click on home and let's refresh this page. Let's refresh again. Awesome. So you can see the video right here, all right? Our audiogram. So to download it to your phone now and start sharing it, just click on the three dots right here. Click on these three dots, tap on it, and then you come down and click on download, okay? So click on download, and this file will be automatically downloaded to your phone, all right? Be downloaded to your phone so let's go to my phone gallery and check if it has already downloaded amazing click on videos and here we have it so let's play it now hello guys hello and guys welcome, and welcome to, to another to edition, another edition of, the of the instagram money show, money show. it's still your it's boy, your John boy John John right here right and i am here. super and super excited, excited to bring to you, bring to you yet another yet edition, another edition of, of this, awesome, this show. Awesome. show wow this is amazing right so Guys, this is exactly how you can create your audiogram step by step. Now, with this audio, you can start sharing it on your different social media platforms, depending on the purpose for which you actually created it for. All right. So if you created it to teach something on YouTube, then you can upload it on YouTube. If you created it to teach something on your WhatsApp status, you can just post it on your WhatsApp status. And I mean, this is one unique way to even teach on your WhatsApp status. All right. If you created it for for teaching a content for teaching a particular thing on Instagram, you can just post it on Instagram. All right, so that is how you can go about it step by step, and you'll be able to achieve this. So if you know that you got value from this video, the only thing you owe me, or the only thing I want you to do for me, is to please give this video a like, give this video a thumbs up, so that it can trigger the YouTube algorithm and make them to show this video to more and more people. All right and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet then go ahead and smash the red subscribe button just below this video and don't forget to also turn on the bell notification so that you'll be the first to be notified as soon as i publish a new video like this one right here on my youtube channel i'll see you guys in the next video